isn't safe. News 18's Marvin Bill spoke with professionals on air quality in Tippecanoe County and got their thoughts. Air quality in Tippecanoe County is a topic of discussion among some people. It's very, very important, uh, especially in the developing world. Purdue University associate professor with the Department of Earth, Atmospheric and Planetary Sciences, Greg McCalsey, says for the most part, air quality in Tippecanoe County is sound. In Indiana, our worst air quality is typically up in Gary, where the industry in proximity to Chicago. Uh, a little bit in the south, where we have some still pot big power plants. But by and large, our air quality is, is fairly good. People are referring to the apps like their weather app on the Apple Watch to determine what the air quality is. Mikowski says those kinds of apps aren't really using precise measurements. I think some of these apps are, are based on models or you know, are rough measurements. So it's to, to measure that accurately, you have to really have good instrumentation. Georgie Epps says air quality isn't something people notice, but they should think about. You just kind of notice in the back of your head, you're like, why is this difficult? She says she especially notices a difference between seasons. During the summer, it's been worse, if that makes sense. Maybe it's just because it's hotter and then it just feels like more congested. Kate Crabtree from Kokomo says air quality there is much worse than air quality in Tippecanoe County. I notice I get stuffy a lot in Kokomo. And then we came out here today and it just feels really crisp and fresh. Crabtree says she expects air quality to be worse in Kokomo because there is a larger amount of manufacturing. I feel like there's a lot more factories in Kokomo to affect it. And it's just not healthy to breathe in bad air quality. I feel like we deserve the best quality, even though we kind of ruined it ourselves, but it's fine, you know. Again, that was Marvin Bill's reporting. Mikelski says Purdue University has recently funded a student-run air quality monitoring station called AirSense. Students are learning how to measure ozone, carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, and aerosols in Tippecanoe.